What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle against the Killer Nacho, another really famous old school PokeTuber. If you guys don't know him, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. He's an awesome dude. And uh, he messaged me on Discord for a battle and we are having an Inu tier match. So look at his team. He's got the Rotom, Dodrio, the Seismitoad, Incineroar, which is a major pain in the ass. <laughs> he also has a Hariyama and a Slowbro. So all around a pretty bulky looking team. Honestly, looking pretty balanced over there. Look at my team. I've got a team that I got from PokeAmmD. I'll leave a link to his channel as well in the description below. But I am rocking the Silvali Electric. We have a Magmortar. We have Roselia with uh, Hazard stacking. We also have the Kingler, which I was honestly trying to show off in this video, but uh, unfortunately it kind of cost me a little bit, <laughs> as we'll see. Uh, we also have the Girder, my boy Molester is back, except I'm actually rocking a slightly different EV spread. Um, it's one that Pokeam had in his video. And then we also have the Palosan, so pretty cool match guys, I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins, my opponent is going to lead off with his Rotom, as I'm going to lead off with my Silvalli. So both me and my opponent are leading off with our electric types right off the crack of the bat. And uh, my opponent's just going to Volt Switch here and uh, try to maintain momentum, but I'm actually going to do the same thing to him, except I don't have Volt Switch, I have the Parting Shot, but basically it's the same idea. So my opponent is going to bring out his Seismitoad, and I'm just going to Parting Shot out, dropping his attack and special attack. So this works out for me. Um, because now I can bring in my Roserade, or not Roserade, sorry, Roselia. I think Roserade's like RU or something, or UU. Anyway, I'm going to bring out my Roselia here because I wanted to keep this thing from setting up his rock, so I kind of wanted to scare him out with the fear of the uh, times 4 Giga Drain. And he is scared, so he's going to swap out into his Dodrio as I take this opportunity to set up one layer of spikes. And now I pretty much have to get the hell out of here. This damn Dodrio is a fucking savage. As we'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and swap out into my defensive wall, my glory hole, which is my uh, Palo Sand. And uh, I'm max HP, max defense, guys. And this fucking Brave Bird does so much damage. He fucking knocks me down to half. <laughs> so he is definitely choice banded to all hell. And uh, here he's just going to Brave Bird me again. I was kind of hoping he would get like a low roll or something and I would be able to get up my Stealth Rocks. That's what I was going for, but unfortunately that is not the case. So Palisan literally, literally came out and did like nothing. <laughs> so that's really unfortunate because now I lost my defensive wall. Here I'm going to take this opportunity to go into my Savali because I kind of figured even though he's choice banded, I could probably take at least one Brave Bird. So he's going to actually swap out into the Rotom as I go for the parting shot predicting that. And uh, that's going to drop his attack and special attack once again. And uh, here I just decide to bring out Kylie Jenner. Because I am Assault Vest as hell, and I can pretty much eat up any attack this thing wants to go for, pretty much. So, uh, I believe he goes for the Volt Switch here, just to maintain momentum once again. There's a lot of Volt Switching and uh, Parting Shot, or, yeah, Parting Shotting going on in this battle. Um, so here was my best play of the match. So I kind of figured he would bring out his Seismitoad. I actually packed the HP Grass on here, it's four times super effective. That Seismitoad just got fucking annihilated, holy shit. And that was a crit, that crit definitely did not matter whatsoever, so that Seismitoad is fucking gone. So here my opponent is going to bring out his Hariyama, and this thing is a monster, holy shit. Hariyama has amazing HP, decent bulk, and a monstrous attack stat, so this is definitely nothing to fuck around with. And uh, here, I'm just going to bring out my Roselia, as he's going to fake out. I brought out Roselia, I know I'm a special wall, but I do have some defensive bulk, plus being a poison type, I'm actually... I, I actually resist his fighting type attacks. I'm going to take this opportunity to set up layer number two of spikes, but unfortunately for me, my opponent does have the ice punch, and that is going to fucking annihilate my Roselia. So this battle is not looking too hot for me. Yeah, I do have two layers of spikes up, um, but the majority of his team, or well, I would say half his team aren't even affected by spikes. And he already killed both of my walls. So here I'm going to bring out Circumciser, the uh, Kingler. I'm actually going to go for a Liquidation, and uh, that is going to dick down this Hariyama with a crit. That crit probably mattered, let's be honest, but it's whatever, it's Pokemon. So here he's going to bring out his Rotom, and uh, I'm just going to swap back out, I believe, into my Silvalli. Yeah. And I kind of figured he would go for the Volt Switch again, and that's exactly what he does, I swear. This Rotom literally just comes out here to Volt Switch, that's all it does. <laughs> 
and uh, he can't trick me because I do have the Electrium memory or, or electric memory or whatever it is on Savali and that can't be tricked. So here he's going to bring out his Dodrio and this is pretty much the confirmation I needed <laughs> that this thing is in fact banded because normally I see like Flyinium Z Dodrio so yeah the fact that that killed definitely tells me that this thing is banded as all hell and uh, I'm just going to bring out my uh, Circumciser because Kingler actually does have decent physical bulk to it and uh, I could probably live one hit. Anyway, he's going to bring out his Slowbro. I actually predicted that. I went for the knockoff just to try to get rid of that damn ban, but this actually works out too um, as knockoff is super effective against Slowbro. It does a dick load of damage and uh, it's going to knock off his leftovers. Here, I fucked up <laughs> because I love Kingler so much. It's one of my favorite first gen mons and I should have just killed him, honestly. That was probably the play that cost me the game here. Um, I really wanted to get a video where Kingler actually did some shit. And unfortunately for me, my opponent's just going to slack off. And uh, yeah, I went for the useless agility there. I should not have done that because now I'm going to go for another knockoff. It's not going to do as much. Now my opponent's going to go for Scald. And because I'm Chad, he gets the fucking burn. <laughs> so here, I basically just have to knock off until my Kingler dies. And this thing's just going to fucking keep going for the, uh, the slack off. So... I definitely, instead of going for that agility, should have just gone for a second knockoff to kill this thing. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like I said, I was just trying to get a video where Kingler did some work, and I was really hoping, crossing my fingers, that he didn't get the Scald burn, but of course, I should have known better, and uh, yeah. So unfortunately for me, Circumciser is going to go down here, and my opponent is going to be at like damn near full health. <sighs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so mad, dude. Kingler is a boss. If you can get this thing to fucking work, Kingler hits like a damn truck with its sheer force life orb nonsense. And uh, it got a new toy in 7th gen in Liquidation. It's such a powerful attack, but... Ugh. <laughs> this damn slow bro is just being a pain in the ass here. So he is... Oh, he is at full health, actually. Shit. <laughs> so here, I'm gonna bring out Kylie Jenner, because I kind of figured my Thunderbolt... Since, he, since I lost my Savali to his Dodrio... Um, I kind of figured my Thunderbolt would do a decent chunk of uh, damage here. As it does, it takes it down to below half, about, I would say, 35-40% or so. And uh, he's just going to go for a Scald. He can't burn me, obviously, because I'm a Fire-type. And because I'm a Salt Vest, I actually take that Scald relatively well. I'm going to go for another T-Bolt here, and that is going to finally kill this damn Slowbro. Oh, I'm so upset about Kingler, man. But one day, one day, we will get a battle where Kingler does some work. And uh, here my opponent's going to bring out the Incineroar, take some damage from the Spikes. And uh, I'm just going to go for the EQ. I'm actually surprised that the EQ did not do as much damage as I was expecting. I thought it would bring him down to red. I knew it wouldn't kill him in one shot because I actually don't have attack investment. But I was expecting a little bit more damage. But I guess, I guess Incineroar is uh, a little bit more bulky than I give it credit for. But here my opponent's going to show off a little bit. And he definitely did not have to do this. But uh, he's going to Malicious Moonsault my ass. <laughs> and uh, that's going to fucking annihilate Kylie Jenner here. But that's okay. So my last mon is uh, Mo Lester the Girder. And I was honestly really hoping that Girder was going to bring this battle back. Uh, I'm actually in the hole. I think he has like three mons left <laughs> or something crazy like that. Yeah, he has three mons left. Um, so here he's actually going to go for the Flare Blitz. Honestly, I should have mock punched him. I should not have fucked around with this thing like I did, um, but yeah, he's going to Flare Blitz me, it does a decent chunk, I'm going to go for the bulk up, and he burned me, which activates my guts, I swear, every time I use Girder, people burn me for some reason, <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like Mo Lester is a burn magnet, but anyway, here, I'm just going to go for the Mach Punch and kill off this Incineroar, uh, unfortunately for me, my opponent has two Mons left that can basically deal with me, and here, he's just going to bring out his Rotom, and uh, he's basically just going to T-bolt my ass into the next dimension. And that is game. Good game, Killer Nacho. Our first battle, we actually had a roulette match, and I actually won that one. So he won this one, so we're tied. We definitely should have a tiebreaker match sometime. And, uh, man, it's such it's so crazy to think that I'm actually battling this guy. I remember watching his videos back in, like, high school. It's crazy. But uh, anyway, I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video in the comment section or leave a like. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links as always are in the description below. I love you guys and peace out.